<laughs> so I'm gonna I'm I'm do what I do uh, once I see him coming. I got you. I see you laying back. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm up to the window now. All, All right. right. Hey, how you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good, officer. How are you? Doing all right. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? Oh uh, no, sir, I don't. Um, uh, my prop- I know I probably was speeding a little bit, but I don't think I was speeding that much. Should have never incriminated. Uh, yeah, he right. You should never. I never incriminate myself. I was like, I, I always say I'm going with the flow of traffic. If I'm ever pulled over, but, oh shit. Oh. All right, I'll be like, all right. So That's... back there, I caught you going 68 and 45. Oh no, sir. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. I didn't know I was going that fast. Um, I'm just trying to get to work. Okay. Uh, where you work at? Um, I, I work at a group home uh, for kids with special needs. Okay, you lying? No fact. Oh no! Oh for real? Oh yeah, my, my bad. Yeah, yeah. My bad. But, uh, <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> out of here! What? Yo, oh, get the fuck out! That was real. Yo, he <laughs> said it. Hey, Starring Timothy Brown. Tayshia. Soldiers in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. I'm your boy Timothy Raw. We got here Tayshawn, and my cousin is back. Go ahead and introduce yourselves a little bit. Cuzzo, where you fuck you been at? Shit. Ah, I just been out of Kentucky, man. It's not too bad out there. Shit is cold as hell. That, that storm came through. Mm-hmm. Woo. Mm-hmm. Hey, but I like to shut the whole state down, though. We ain't have to do shit. It be like that sometimes. But I'm Curtis. Really is, he be man. getting on my nerves when he come on here sometimes, but he fam- you know how family is. Shout out Every to my family. Every time I come home, you be like, come do a podcast. Nigga, no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> I sound like Tim. Oh, hell no. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna start off the podcast. Damn, I even introduce Damn. myself. Give me, give me I did time. say Tayshawn earlier. Time. But go ahead introduce yourself. Damn, I did say Tayshawn earlier. Damn, I feel left out. Yeah, I know who this is. It's who, who that boy be that boy, Tayshawn. You know what I'm saying? Tay. Big Tay. They say I look like a big Curtis. I don't think we look alike. They got the same height. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> niggas say it's niggas tall. You know what I mean? But anyway. We average height, man. Y'all just short. That's Fuck really God. what it is. Yeah. You got a short man I'm complex. Sh- a- I ain't no short man. <laughs> Napoleon was actually tall. We used to but say short not. man. Man, fuck y'all. Anyway. <laughs> this is what I want to highlight. I want to uh, I want to start off the episode of the podcast with... Uh, just a, a light statement. I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to get clout, but you know, last week we did lose a giant in the hip hop. I'm one of my favorite uh, rappers of all time, DMX. Um, and I felt like he touched a lot of people. And I want to just tread on that softly and also reflect about the streets when it comes to drug use. You know what I mean? Um, so it, I just wanted to know if y'all want to have any input on that. Um, um, just to lightly talk about it. Less than two minutes. If not, uh, we move on. It's hard to talk about because, you know, addiction is so real. Like, everybody struggles with it. So you see not only somebody, like, poor, you see somebody who had money who still struggled with addiction. But at the same time, it made me believe in God more because even though he w- was addicted, it was like he was a messenger from God. So, you know what I'm saying? So people might judge him, but it was like he was heaven sent because everything he said, everything he did, it's like he touched everybody's lives. Like, yeah. So I don't know, man. It's just rest in peace, man. I am I mean, I'm young. Don't know too much about him, but I mean, I know his music and hear his music and I love it. So. Right, right. I mean, it's just rest in peace, man. It's a legend, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, shit. I'm, I know some people saying, oh, here we go. He getting clout. No, I'm not. A few episodes ago, many times I mentioned about DMX, man. His music is one of the reasons why he would start doing hip hop or being associated with, you know, making music. So I just wanted to just put that energy out there and move on to the next next subject. But you're right. I mean, for me, what he went through, I can relate because I've seen it from my parents, you know, if, especially if you know some of the situations in my past. He's like, yo, what the, no, not that I'm doing drugs, but my parents used to, you know, be associated with that. So, um, Hey, how, hey, how, how funny uh, every nigga be like, I ain't doing drugs. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe alcohol. You know what I mean? I, may, I might be doing, you don't know what's in my cup. It might be milk. It might be water. 
But I, that's about it. I ain't about the other one. But anyway. That's that addiction line. I ain't doing no drugs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> Oh, hell no. But yeah, man, I just wanted to throw that energy out there, that yeah, positive man, rest energy, in peace, definitely man. rest some power. You gonna um, rest in peace, yeah. It's just sad. You I feel like missed. it's, when it, when it comes to statistics, I mean, every day somebody is having some form of overdose somewhere in the, in the United States, whether if you white, black, green, yellow, red, you know what I mean? That's not something that's actually uh, being a, any form of racist. It doesn't care if you're rich or poor. It it uh you know cut you off, but I don't want to remember X in in the light of mm. of drugs use. You know what I mean? He left music, movies. I mean, his movies are amazing. He Belly, amazing that introduction, actor. Belly is the best yeah, opening in the game of all actor, time, man. hands down. I don't give for anybody say it. it is I debate anybody on he that. He was really talented, man. <laughs> anybody, you ready? Hey, look, best opening, Belly. Daddy, are you ready? <laughs> Nigga, you sound ugly as hell. <laughs> We're not that. doing it justice right now. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> Look, sound ugly as hell when you're yeah. doing that. Man, fuck y'all. All right, anyway. So next next subject I want to highlight. Um, What's going on with some of these shootings? That is, what is going on, Curtis? I got to ask why, Curtis. Why this. you asking me? I, I had to. I why? had to. But you... You know why? Yeah. So tell them what you do, Kurt. <clears throat> I have a background in law enforcement, <laughs> but I mean, still though, like anybody, you don't have to be me to like have an opinion. This is just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's 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 constantly happened. Like it, it's more highlighted now because like the night if I go home and something happened, I could press Facebook Live in two seconds. Mm -hmm. Sure. Two seconds, sure. and everybody in my family or share it and all that stuff. And, you know, whatever happened, the whole world will see, honestly, by midnight. Right. You right. know, but, and that's why it's just so more open. But to, like, what what specifically are you asking? I'm, I'm going to just, well, I saw a video, um, and apparently it happened in December, um, with when the... Um, the LT? The LT was getting <laughs> yeah. pulled over in that situation. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just not understanding... I'm not understanding. And then that, I heard about another shooter. It's like the same thing. I'm so sick and tired. I guess what I'm asking is, it's the why factor. But of course, you don't even know why. We don't, A lot of people don't know why, right? Like, but nobody knows. It's like a continuation of the same shit. It it's is. Good. You it's got one officer about, pull yeah. out a gun. It is. Shot the person. Oh, I thought there was... You know, uh, my taser, or, you know, some shit yeah. like that. Fruitvale Station, you ever saw the movie? Same situation. Literally. But it's happened. It's not only like Fruitvale Station. So Fruitvale Station is like the most, I might call it the most famous one, but the easiest one to remember because of the movie. Sure, that's um, true. It's two other times because uh, I was watching um, Undisputed yesterday and they were talking about it on there. Shannon Sharp mentioned it. He, he quoted the times and there. I don't, I didn't know exactly. As many as more times. You know, it's, yeah. it's been like, it, he just talked about the four recent, most recent instances. Mm -hmm. But he also said like a, an expert or a, a use of force. That's what they call it. A use of force, right? When you, when you go more than hands on or when you go more than talking to somebody, because hands on is actually a use of force. When you go more than talking to somebody, you are using force. Right. right. So a use of force expert said like, Yes, it's happened in the past and it's going to continue to happen. Mm. It doesn't make any sense because um, I don't know the, I can't quote exactly off the top of my head when it was moved over, but um, you had to move your taser to your non-dominant hand or your support side. Mm. And then your weapon is on your, because you're carrying a pistol, is on your support hand. Support hand. Mm. So, and then like it made it made you like, okay, if I reach this side, I know I'm going lethal. If I reach this side, I'm going non-lethal. Non -lethal. And that's how it was supposed to be well, set up. You... I'm unsure of how her belt is set up. I'm unsure of what was going through her mind because I've I've been tased before. I've carried a taser. I carry a hurt. taser. That I shit understand. Hurt. It's just not as bad. The I'm spray, fine. to me, the spray is worse. The spray? To me, yeah, the, yeah, spray the spray is worse. Yeah, spray is that's just me because it's like, the, the the tase like your tase that's it you know your five right. seconds or however long it's it's over with. maybe I hurt because I fell my ass on the ground that could be why <laughs> but like the spray is there for a while for a while Afterwards. so it, it's it's like an ass whooping or a punishment like you know like I'd rather get the you, ass whooping exactly you get it over with mm -hmm. but um so back to her like yes you see her you watch the video she goes through all the motions um oh you you switch cases. From the uh, LT thing to the uh, 
Dante Wright, I believe right. is how you say his name. Right. So in the Dante Wright thing where they sad, the officer, 26 years of experience, uh her name is Kim Potter. Um, I mean, that could have been she, me. He got one year old, man. Yeah. Like that child just turned one. Like I just yeah. and she she pulled out her uh what she believed was her taser. She went through the most because I mean, like me as law enforcement officer, I know, you know, before you deploy your taser, all everything you were saying was taser, 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 to let people know, hey, look, I'm deploying my taser. So back up so you don't get hit with the prongs, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Right. And then, like, she was doing it, and then, like, she immediately shot and said, oh, shit. Like, she's like, oh, I I meant to tase him. Like, and I, there's no, all of it's wrong. Mm. Like, she shot him one time, but in that situation, this is just my opinion, in that situation, if she'd have tased him, He's attempting to drive a car. That car turns into he can't. Con- you can't control yourself when you're tased. No. So that honestly wasn't the right answer either. Right. Um. What they should have done, I can't say what they should have done. I can say what I would have done, but I wouldn't. You can't tase him in that moment. Well, shit, Kurt, what would you do? What would, what would you have done <laughs> in that situation? I would have removed him from the car, but like they were just like right there. You're taught to at least so you have the everybody has a dash cam on the front of the car. Right, right. right. You're taught to do everything in front of the dash cam so you can be seen. Mm-hmm. If we've seen so many videos where officers are shot and killed, and all you see is that dash cam footage. Mm-hmm. So in that same way, hey, move in, in front of the dash cam. So in that moment, he attempted to run. He isn't like as close as I am to him to getting back in his car. He's at least a car and a half length away right. to run back to his car to get into it. You right. know, and then and in that th- there's plenty of time to deploy a taser. There's not pull your weapon, but there's plenty of time over, hey, I'm right here. You make a quick move. You don't know how quick I mean, people are. Um I mean you're in uniform, you have your gear on, you have your um uh, your body vest on. You aren't as quick as somebody and, and, and ball outs you, I don't I don't care who you are. You, you could put you same bolt in a police uniform and he not catching not straight up. He he don't catch him eventually, but he's not gonna catch like not the average not. Joe just trying to get back in the car in that split second. No. It's just not gonna happen. No. Not and if you're he's the fastest man in the world. But like <laughs> seriously, like it, it's just not gonna happen. So me personally, I wouldn't have had him so close to the vehicle, especially once you understand this man has an outstanding warrant. Mm-hmm. Um, like once you once you come to the uh summation of hey, this guy has a warrant. We need to remove him and make sure he shouldn't have been that close. Right, I understand right. the guy was being compliant, but it's right. all it's it's always that split second. Mm-hmm. The split second when things happen, um, crime of opportunities is like 90% of the crimes that happen. Right. You see somebody's phone left in a car, you see a, a wallet left in a car, and you're oh, like, yeah. Hmm. Nobody here. The that integrity is, level that, drops. That, that's literally ninety percent of crimes. <laughs> right. The other ten percent are crimes that, like, yeah, I went out today saying I was going to stab somebody. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't think people go out saying, but I went out today saying. Oh, but they probably thought it. Yeah, they probably thought it. Though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it's it's so it's back sad, to the LT man. thing. The LT thing is baffling to me because uh, me being in the army as uh, well uh. and also being an officer, um, what it's like. You read the report. This happened in December. We just the uh, they just released the footage two three days ago, mm-hmm. and now you're like, wow, are you serious? This guy was treated like this, and he's a, um, yeah. he. So what happened was they flashed his lights. Uh, hey, the guy like I'm gonna wait, and I do this myself. I wait right. until I'm I'm in light. Like I want to be in light. I want to be at least like a camera from like some. Convenience store, some just at least at, at least like. I don't want nobody to say they couldn't see me. I was Wesley Snipes. Exactly. I need to be in the light. So, and I don't even I don't have tin on my car for this reason because I know like people are like, well, I didn't know you how. No, that's why my, I don't tin my lights. And facts. I, I even facts. turn on the lights in my car. Hmm. Like I don't like my lights are on. So you come there, ain't no you don't need a flashlight. You don't need to do all this because my lights are on and it's bright. You my know what I'm saying? Lights are on and it's bright. You so everything. What what they did was they they noted he slowed down. And I forgot what they say. He put on his blinker or he put on his hazards. But he slowed down. And then it uh, I believe a report mentions that he pulled over the first light, which is that gas station. It don't say like, oh, well, it took him like 35 minutes or so he pulled over. But a close officer came to the interaction. And when he got there, he was the one who was escalating. 
the his body camera is the one who sprayed him and all that stuff. But like his body language was super aggressive from the get go. The question um, is why. That see, I don't know that why. I don't understand why. I mean, a lot of he people even, insinuate. Oh, I think he's you know. Yeah, he was uh, Gutierrez. Oh, I can't, I don't remember his first name, but his last name was uh, Gutierrez. Gutierrez. So. Okay. But okay. he's that's a Hispanic last name, so he's a, of Hispanic. So he's a minority as well. Right. Before you know, we get to that. But and like me, I'm like he says to this guy. What are you, a specialist or a corporal? You know, he says that he was a, he's a veteran, et cetera, and all that stuff. And it's like, okay, vet to vet, why are you giving him a hard time? This guy is talking to you like they they initiate the felony traffic stop because of, hey, he, I guess they felt that he drove too far before he actually pulled How over. How far is too far? Because I've but, drove. But that's officer discretion, I'm, that, I'm, That's true. That's but true. But if he really, in, in, like, they're but how, he wait, dropped down to 18. 18? How you ain't is going, 18 eluding? That's not eluding. You can, that's not, if you you can still pull a police granny, maneuver to stop exactly. in front of somebody 18. You know, they dropped down 18. How far is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, we don't know how far he went, but still, he pulls over. He, hey, uh, step out of the car. According to uh, the case, 1977 case, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania versus Mims, the officer at any time. During a traffic stop, can pull you out of your vehicle and do a pat down of you. Right. And right. then I don't know the other case, but there is one for anybody who is not the driver, passengers of the vehicle as well. Right. They can do the same thing to you. But in that situation, hey, um, at the time, and the, and the traffic stop was for an apparent, uh, he just bought the vehicle. And I don't know whether he didn't have the deal attack on it because that's the one that I didn't look at. Like I've watched videos several times, but I've never looked at that one spot. What was actually in the license plate spot? Right. But right. I do know you could actually see his dealer tag in the window. In the window, or, it's right, in the right. window. So it's there. If you, it, it's there. But I mean, like when they were on the highway, maybe you couldn't see it because there was no lights. And right. I mean, like maybe he flashes. But that is a quick maybe question. You can how see far? Let's start to Jack. How far do you have to go before you consider it to be eluding? Well, 18 miles officer, per hour. Yeah, that's off the discretion. I know that's off the discretion, but think about it like this: like I'm, if even if I'm driving a car, some situations where you know there might be a soft, a soft side. You don't yeah. want to pull your car over, might get stuck. Let me go ahead and take the next exit. That's two miles. But I do that as well for officers, though, because I mean, like, so I understand officer safety plays a big part in everything. But if I'm going to pull over for the police, one, I want to be in the on a straightaway. So like, there's no no one coming around a curve that clip me, him, et cetera, and that's 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 I mean that's on the outside of a curve or the inside. I don't I don't want that to happen because I I, I hold ass on the highway. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't oh, want yeah. you know and someone that can easily that, happen. That two seconds they they look left because they're about to get over and they veered right. They clip him or both I mean of I us, went four miles down. I got pulled over by a DOT driving an eighteen wheeler. I went four exits down. Yeah. Before I actually put, I missed the exit. But that's yeah. because it was road construction. But that's still four exits. Yeah, that's like more than five miles. But the officer, the responding officer in that moment decides whether it's too far, and that's when they decide, hey, this is a failing traffic stop because whatever reason. And in that moment, they decide that that's when you 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 escalate to kind of get everybody out of the vehicle, and then, hey, get them out of the vehicle, talk to them. But those officers know they were in the wrong because once you get through the vehicle or once you get through the video, you see, like, not even just this spraying part. He's like, hey, the guy says, look, man, I'm just afraid to get out of the vehicle. That's it. I'm afraid to get out of the and vehicle. He and the stated, guy responded like, you should be. That's not, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, afraid. Is as law enforcement, you are, um, you're supposed to work for your community. Like, that's it. Um, I have a cousin who's a law enforcement as well in our local area. Shout out Willie McCray. And I mean, like, we talk about stuff that happen all the time. Right. And, I need to bring Willie you know, out in like, the episode one day. Well, hey, bring me back for that one. I'll bring you, I, I, but, if he's ready, I know he, he, I got to make sure I ain't put him in a situation. I don't know if he's prepared. He might, he, you know. He'll be ready, but. You think he'll be ready? I think he'll be ready. Right. But in that situation, though, like, literally, I was like, hey, um, you know, did you watch this? And we talked about it. And then even with like, you know, you talk about the George Floyd thing that happened. Right. Um, When that happened, people who know that like, oh, I'm African-American, obviously because I'm black. But like, who know I'm uh, military police and they know I'm an army. They like, you know, I just had random people messing me like, hey, bro, you all right, man? It's like, you know, it's a lot going on in the world right now. I'm just checking you. So I was like, bro, you, bro. Like, that's what's yeah, up. That's what's you know up. What but that's real. I don't even check on my damn cousin. But yeah, you don't. <laughs> but uh, back to the topic straight up though. Like, if you watch the entire video after they've like 
talk to this man. And at one point, they're telling him like, hey, we won't you know, charge you with anything if you just let this go. Because they know they're in the wrong. Nah, like, that's like when you, when you hit your little cousin or your little brother. Like, hey, hey, shut up. Man, you in trouble. Like, stop, stop. Nah, that's something you can't let go. I feel like right. with the state of what the country's in, and, and, and not just that. It's just about integrity. Like, you know, it's just like what Curtis said. What ninety percent of of people who actually commit a do, crime, commit a crime it's, it's a crime of opportunity. Crime of opportunity. All right, so you got to have a level of integrity. Yeah. If you see that wallet on the ground, you know damn well that's not yours. Mm-hmm. And you in like Walmart or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like, hmm, should you take it or should you turn it in? I think it'd be actually good if you understand uh, the yin and yang and good energy and vibes. Go ahead and turn that fucking wallet in because you know what what you put in the universe. Tends to come back and bite you in the ass. And if you're putting out positive things into the universe, normally good things happen to you. So from an integrity point, you know, just do that. But when it comes to that situation, um, I feel like that, that's, the, no, don't, he shouldn't drop the charges. Fuck that shit. Nah. <laughs> nah. Ain't no way in the world. Think about it. You pulled me over. I am a, not just an employee. I'm actually uh Defending the nation of the United States of America. Well, I am a though, lieutenant. It shouldn't, it shouldn't come to that. So, like, when I, like, when I, if I'm pulled over, I don't be like, hey, I'm, in, I'm an MP, leave me alone. Right. I just, like, you know, I act like, a, why, <laughs> I'm MP, why, leave me why do I, why do I want to try to use that or pull that card? That is easy. Treat me, treat me like you would treat everybody else. And I'm just going to go, if they are in the mm-hmm. wrong and I know it, I'll, I'll talk to them and say, hey, like, I know you're wrong about that. Like, and this is why I, I will quote, um, amendments or Supreme Court cases, whatever, about to them straight up. I would tell them. Have you ever had like, an officer who put you over and you know that they put you over and they was in the wrong one? They should that they put you over for. I can't say I have because I speed. Like I'm not. Okay, so the like, second I question. Speed. Let me ask you this question, then, Chief. Have you ever used your like? Did do they find out later after they start doing a little background of who Curtis is? Uh, like before they find out you were in no, 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 no. So like mm-hmm. it'll, it'll, it'll tell them I'm in the army. All right, right, right. But it won't tell them like eh, I'm in P. Oh, so they don't want to say that. It'll okay, just be okay. like oh, I'm in the army. But like law enforcement, depending on where you're at, don't see it. It's like oh, they in the army, like leave them alone. Some of them right, know right. that we're traveling on leave, so it's like if I give him his ticket, he won't fight it. He'll just pay it and not come to court mm-hmm. because you because this is what happened. You gotta you gotta go on leave again to come back to that state for that court date. Nah, no thank you. I'm just paying that ticket. Right. You get two and a half months or two and a half months, two and a half days of leave a month. I'm not wasting two <laughs> days just to come back to, and it don't even really be your state. Like when I was in Louisiana, it was like Georgia I got pulled over. And I was like, oh man. Mm. You know, like I'm here in North Carolina. I don't want, I have nowhere to stop in Georgia. I have to get a hotel room or something like that. Or either I have to leave. From here or Louisiana, like super early in the morning to make it by what court time zero eight zero nine mm-hmm. whatever. Right, right. And I gotta dodge traffic, so mm-hmm. I'm probably really not in Georgia. Be there by I mean, six. you could dodge traffic because everybody's driving no, speed racing. Dodge traffic. But oh yeah, 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 like, yeah you gotta yeah, dodge yeah. rush hour traffic. Mm-mm. Nah, dang it. Let me interject um, on this. Let me ask you this, Tay. You're a black man. You speak just like Curtis. I know you do because I've been in the fucking car with you and I've been screaming because the motherfucking drive crazy. All right. You just don't know. I'm not going to go into details. Mm-hmm. Have you ever got in a situation where you felt as though you was treated unfair, unjust when you actually got put over? Um, No. Uh, shout out to all the police that stopped me. Uh, they always give me a warning. <laughs> um. <laughs> I put on my white man voice when I get pulled over. They was hey, like, let me really hear the white man voice. Let me hear the white man voice. They'd be like, uh, you know why I pulled you over? Um, um no, sir, no, I don't. Um, um He's still trying to say to me. Like, uh, I, got like, you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. You gotta work on that white man voice. That right. still sound the same to me. Yo, hell no. So I'm gonna I'm I'm do what I do uh once I see him coming. I got you. My seat be laying back. <laughs> All right, I'm up to the window now. All right. All right. Hey, how you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good, officer. How are you? Doing all right. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? Oh uh, no, sir, I don't. Um, uh, my prob- I know I probably was speeding a little bit, but I don't think I was speeding that much. Should have never incriminated. Uh, yeah, he right. You should never. I never incriminate myself. I was like, I, I always say I'm going with the flow of traffic. If I'm ever pulled over, but, oh shit! Oh. All right, I'll be like, all right. So <laughs> back there, I caught you going 68 and 45. Oh no, sir. I'm sorry, I don't. 
Oh, I, I didn't know I was going that fast. Um, I'm just trying to get to work. Okay, uh, where you work at? Um, I, I work at a group home uh, for kids with special needs. Okay, you lying? No facts. Oh no! Oh for real? Oh yeah, my, my bad. To, yeah, my yeah. bad. But, uh, <laughs> get the fuck out! <laughs> what? Yo, oh, oh, he got that. the fuck up. That was real. Yo, he <laughs> said, hey, they said, "What's that, nigga? You lying?" <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my heart racing fast <laughs> love you do that. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that touched his heart. But if you nah, really found out you worked there, yo, you get away I'm with that ticket. Lie, I'll be like, I'm not writing you a ticket. But now yeah. I had um, pneumonia uh, in 2020 at the beginning of January. That uh, shit was ugly. And I uh, was, you know, I went somewhere. Uh, I had no business being. Um, yeah. That was coming back at like three o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I, um, Something had dropped, and I went to go get it, and I swerved. So when, once I swerved, I just heard, I just seen a uh, big ass uh, U, uh, SUV just coming like that. It ain't had no lights, and then it finally turned on the lights, and I pulled over. He gets out of his car, slams the door, and he rolls down the, and I rolled down the window. And he's like, "You been smoking weed? I smell weed." I was like, "I don't even smoke." I was like, "I just got the hospital, and I, I have lucky I have my medication sit right there." I was like, "No, I just got from the hospital." I was like, I was just coughing and uh, I swerved a little bit because I had pneumonia. Here's go my blood clot medicine. Here go the antibiotics. Like I was just coughing real bad and it made me swerve. And he was like, no, I smell weed. And then he was like, Can you, uh, get your license registrations out. So I went to go grab it and he was like, don't reach. So I was just like, well, how am I? So you did have an encounter yeah. like. Yeah, but I was like, how how am I reach? I'm going to get the stuff. He's like, well, don't reach. He was like, well, I believe you. And I was like, yeah, you can check my glove compartment and everything. I don't have no weed. He was like, well, I believe you. And he was like, well, you better, well, you better get home and uh, uh, stop, uh, stop doing something. I was like, all I did was swerve, and he just took off. So that's the worst I ever had. But he was mm, just, but so like wild. when I went to go reach, he was like, don't reach. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. What's that even mean? Like, like, right, yeah, like don't, don't reach. Like, don't reach. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Every if I drove one of my cousins Crown Vic, I got pulled over every time. But when I drove my Jeep. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some real gay shit. This is based on a real story. Hold on. Let me take a little. So this is some ghetto shit. I'm putting my news out there. So I drove a Jeep. I have a 1997 Jeep Cherokee. You got to get pulled over for that shit. And um, I had my tags was there for about a year. This is facts. A year. Was this uh? Was this like COVID last year or was this COVID like... COVID last year. Okay, okay. Because I know they gave you a... Uh, so depending on the nothing. state... I ain't get nothing. I get No, depending on the state, they like, hey, look, they look the other way. Like last... This this time last year, like I was... Like when I said I was speeding, because cops weren't not pulling people over. They were like, this pandemic is too much. I do not want to catch nothing. I didn't even see cop cards out. Mm-hmm. Like, period. Boy, they, are, they, they back now. Yeah, oh, yeah, boy, yeah they boy, back they, on they full effect. But they I got effect. a story to tell y'all. Y'all but, talking about some dead tags. But before you talk about dead tags, <laughs> my tags was actually dead for two years. It's a whole story behind Shit. that. I had to get the car in my name. My mom passed away. It's a whole nother story. But anyway, um, I never got pulled over in the Jeep. Like, like in the the one the time that I did actually got pulled over, and I think my producer was with me. Um, the tags was dead. However, I had the paper that I passed inspection, so I was just waiting to go to the DMV, and that's when I got my warning. But it's like I, I went past cops. I went and went in the hood. I went through the hood, places where people should get pulled over for having the dead tag. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody bothering me. So <laughs> it's a sometimes okay. my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, so sometimes it's just a show of force. Like, mm-hmm. like we've all been on the highway. Hauling ass, and you see parked in the median, like not even in the cut, because you, you the people in the cut are looking to get you. Mm-hmm. The people in the median, where like you can see them from two, three miles away, they like they're just a show of force. Mm-hmm. When you see cops walking through like the mall or like you know bigger places, they are a show of force. They are a deterrent. Mm-hmm. Like, oh well, let me you know if I was going to do that day, it's too high in here already. Like you, you know, mm-hmm. like <laughs> like when I when I road trip. Mm-hmm. Every time I hit Georgia, no matter what, I'm like, I see like one cop car, two cop. It's hot as shit in Georgia, boy. I, 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 Georgia, let Virginia. Me slow it down. Georgia, yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia but gonna it, pull your ass over. But they it's got just the same way though. So when you do see cop cars and stuff like that, that, not all of them are looking to like pull. If it's closer than a month, they might be looking to get quota. That's mm-hmm. that's a fact. But like, let, I, let me interject real quick. 
earlier he said something, some shit that incriminated himself when getting pulled over. Yeah. What should he have said not to? You know, what should he do when getting pulled over? What should a person actually do? So, some people are scared. So don't admit to anything. And what I mean by that is like, if you are, like I said, say that you were going to flow track, that's it. Because like, mm. uh, Texas, I'm going to use Texas because I've drove to I mean, Texas do you actually times. have to say anything? Because I saw somebody, and I don't know if this is some white privilege. Shout out to my Caucasians. But he got pulled over. And he, the officer was asking a question. He just, he just looked. <laughs> so the they are they'll say they conduct an investigation because they're just trying to figure out what's going on because I mean like sometimes some, some shit really be going on like I mean I've like they've called us and said hey look if you see this car on the road with their flash on they're probably hauling ass his wife is giving birth and I'm like somebody go get an escort you know like literally right right but so it's it's about shit like that so but you like I, I, I won't admit to anything. Sometimes, uh, when I got pulled over, I got pulled over in Louisiana one time, and I knew I was holding What part ass. of Louisiana? How dirty? How dirty south? Well, no, no, no. I wasn't even down there, because Polk, like Fort Polk is not even oh, by, nah, it's nah, not, not even nah, by nah. Uh, You're in New the Orleans. middle of them. You, yeah. yeah <laughs> it ain't nowhere near the bias. It's, it's four or five hours from New Orleans. Mm. But anyway, so yeah, like I got pulled over, and he's like, hey, yo, you know, I caught you. And this is the only time I ever admitted. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically what it is is a speed trap zone. Mm-hmm. So you go to the you go through the town of Deritter and it drops down to like a Was you in a small town? Huh? That's how it's so easy to get a well, ticket. But you're on the highway though. You go to the town of Deritter and it drops down to 35. So I was oh. in my truck, I turn off my cruise control mm-hmm. and I drop down 35. Well, when you come out of it, it doesn't just jump back up to 65. It go 35, 45. 55, oh, that's setting you up. 65. Yeah, yeah. So by the time I hit 45, I just pressed the um, I pressed the resume button. So I I come across and he was right there at the speech at right before it hit 65. And he oh, yeah. clocked me before it. And he was like, you know, like he he hit the lights and I immediately pulled over. And he was like, um, do you know I pulled you over? And I was like, um, well, no, correction. He said, Hey, I caught you going 65 and uh 45. I was like, I've been here long enough. I know it goes to 65. All I did was press resume on my cruise control. I said, your car is like 10 feet after the 65 mile an hour sign. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you have a good night. And that was it. <laughs> Be- but because that was it, though. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I know. I, I'm surprised I he didn't argue. Road. Why? You think he was in the wrong? Like, he just didn't argue that. Well, I mean, he knows his speed trap. You know? Right, and right, and right, literally, right. like, I was like, I'm just headed. I was just headed back. Huh. But I never admit to anything unless... I want to say unless they're being friendly with you, but some of them do that for a reason. Like, oh, hey, you know that they're, they're like they're super reverse like, psychology. Yes, they're like, hey, man, you know you're just having a good conversation. With you. Like, man, just look, just slow it down. Just sign this ticket right here. All right, you have like some of them are, will do that. So I can't say when, but I say I say never admit. To man, I, I had a whole hour with it. a. I, I got my last ticket. I got man. He gave me a ticket. Uh, it was improper improper equipment. Yeah. Um, because my speedometer actually wasn't working. Yeah. Of course, it was a Jeep. But we talked about Jeeps for an hour. I'm like, man, you really had to give me a ticket? We just had a good conversation. Yeah. He was my buddy, my pal. We talked about Tim all the type of Jeeps. Hour. He, <laughs> was trying to leave. he probably, yeah, he probably was like, Tim was like, one more thing. To... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Don't answer that. that, that don't answer that, uh, Walkie. Come back over here. We got to talk about these Jeeps real quick. But no, <laughs> but I have been in a car where I've been with somebody and we got pulled over because they felt like we was in the wrong part of the neighborhood yeah. and it wasn't at nighttime. So they're like, what are you doing out here? But and see, it's it like, wouldn't, that is a form of, I feel like that in itself is a form of judging somebody. It is. Wrong part of it. What, what, what's so wrong about the neighborhood? Exactly. There's like, oh, this is a, a high drug, high crime area. And you, and you come here at night. I mean, I pay my taxes. I can drive my car where the fuck I want. Like we can yeah. go where we want. It don't matter what we doing. Like, I can go where I want. You didn't catch me with nothing. I, we don't have nothing, so why are you bothering me? Right. Everything's good. We're not speeding. Like, what What do you have better to do with your time instead of bothering us? It's probably the end of the month. At the end of the month, they just look for stuff. I have worked with people or, correction, I've talked to people who, like, are in higher positions in, like, not anywhere around here, but other states, mm-hmm. like uh, the police departments, and they say, They've had like supervisors who like when it's like the twenty fourth, they'll like walk in there and tell, hey, you guys will 
have like 38 arrests by a uh, by like the end of the month. We are at like 21. He like so I got to get 17 more rest in six or seven days, depending on how to meet their quota. Yes. And it's and all a big all system. They do it at that point are they are pulling over everybody they can. Mm. They are. And he said, like, we push for this person to get fired as much. But the system protected them. The system he's like, because once you once you are law enforcement long enough, you're not, I'm not going to say your name is gold. Mm. But like you can go somewhere else and they say, oh, you were, you know, especially if you were like. Big town, Dallas, mm-hmm. some little product supply, Bolivia. Mm-hmm. We'll take you. Come on. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll take you because, you know, you work well, like Texas the mean Ranger? streets. Yeah, you work the mean yeah. streets of Dallas. And now here you are about to, where where you probably got, you probably resp- responded to seven, seven or eight <laughs> decent calls a day. You might respond to seven or eight decent calls a month. I think that's the thing, though. I think um, it was hard because everybody don't want to be a police. But I think if we had more people who grew up in the community policing the community, we wouldn't have so many problems. We have so many. See, I I kind of that's a shaky area because I was always taught. (laughs) I have never looked at police as a good guy in my neighborhood from where I'm from. Like I just when I see them, like oh shit, I treat them like a gang member because I I felt like the police in New York was a gang. In well, a sense, you know I what mean, I mean. But that's the sense of the world, because I mean, like, as African Americans, that's we're all taught that. Like, I right. was taught that, because I mean, like, we play cops and robbers. I had a cousin who was that's like, no, you cannot play. When y'all play cops and robbers, you are not going to be the cop. <laughs> and I was like, what? Now he MP. Look at him like, now. You know, no, 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 no. He said to my cousin, not me. Oh. And I was like, what? You know, it kind of caught me off guard when he said it. But he's like, no, you will not. But like, you are taught this, and it, like, you look at it, you like, for real. But then you see, like, like a lot of my Caucasian friends, a lot of my friends who are, I must call them ignorant, but they, like, <laughs> are, no, but, like, they are, um, correction, I'm the, sorry. The, the correct term is miseducated. There we go. <laughs> They're miseducated about, like, who the Black Panthers was, or the Black Panthers is, the Black wow. Panthers are that. Sad. And I'm like, do you understand the Black Panthers was an organization who said, we are going to sit down, brothers, we are going to learn law better than the average street cop. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to, well, they would have called it harassing the cops. But we are going to, when we see the cops doing the wrong thing, and what this is like 50 years ago, when we see the cops doing the wrong thing, we're going to state it. Mm -hmm. The law that they are claiming they are breaking, we're going to say they're not because of this, because it's X, Y, and Z. And I have friends who will not like no. They were, they were this. Were there other chapters that probably branched off and of weren't it was. good? Yes, but it didn't start. But did it that start way. from that? That wasn't like, the original goal. I was like, because we were arguing uh, KKK and Black Panthers. I said, so yes, there were like one or two bad chapters, or not bad chapters, but chapters who did like egregious things. Radical. But to be yeah, radical is the word they use. But to begin <laughs> with, it was a peaceful saying, hey. In this, in California, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna we're gonna follow the cops who attempt to harass African Americans in their communities, and we're gonna tell them, "Hey, they are not breaking the law, and this is why we're gonna quote it because we have the knowledge." And that's what they would do: Bible study for a law, basically. Facts. And they would do that. And then I said the KKK was a well. I, I said the KKK was an organization. I said if you are not Aryan white, if you are not like. Period. I don't care what you might be mixed with. If you got some spanking, if you are not white, I do not like you. They they hung, they lynched, they burned down communities. Rosewood, Black uh, Wall Street, like the whole nine of stuff they done. The Mississippi burning, like that is stuff that you cannot look past and try to put these shit. communities to get not communities. These groups in the same boat. But like if, you can't. Yeah, they're, they're both morally. <laughs> but it comes down to the system. Like, uh, President, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment. This is Great Apes Cafe. President um, Eisenhower stated that he is in fear that there is a military industrial complex. Well, now, as I'm sitting on the show, as you're viewing this, I'm in fear of the prison industrial complex where you literally are. I feel like sentencing people for a game and, and and locking up many people who should not be locked up. You know what I mean? Think about and the reason why you're like, where, where are you going at with this? I mean, think about it. Think about how the system 
goes, how the system work. And I mean, even the constitution state that we're not really free if you really look at it, um, yeah. but know your constitution. But anyway, what I'm getting at is I feel like, am I, I'm not really surprised anymore. Like it's sad. That's why I, I have family yeah. in Algeria. Algeria is not even doing this bad. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's one reason why. And I was that's a whole different here. eggs and that's a whole different yeah. situation over that's there. That's one reason why I was sitting here quiet the whole time because I mean, it's getting to the point in, like don't want to talk about it. Yeah, none it's, of it's surprising. It, yeah, it's like it's like you be getting so used to it. I mean, again, the black community has been used to it, but. Now with the cameras and stuff, it doesn't surprise you how bad it gets anymore because you we're just we dis- desensitized of it. We just think about this: when did the camera f- cell phones start coming out? Imagine how many years yeah. this been going on before the cameras. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to look at it, that it's happening all over. Mm-hmm. I mean, so um, what? I'm trying to think of a good example. A good example is like what. So it don't matter what African Americans do. We can't, you know, everybody here's twice as you gotta work like, twice like, as hard yep. to get half, of half what? of the credit half that the credit. somebody else would. And like, but what can we do? Marching ain't gonna do nothing. Like, <laughs> like what marching gonna do? Because there's so Especially much. Especially if you march us. if you march like, without a real justified reason, you're not you just having a parade. A bunch, think about it, yeah, right? I mean, you're right, but I hate to say you're right in that aspect. But like, like Curtis just hate to say I'm right because I'm family. But, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, but like they're marching for justice because they they want justice for like the the wrongful death of these people. Like I should not, for no reason. And I have I have family members who be like, well, I gotta can still carry. It. Well, and I tell them sometimes that may be a death sentence to the wrong officer. That's a death sentence. Mm-hmm. You look at um the young man Philando Castillo. The Philando man was Castillo. a teacher. Mm-hmm. He was a teacher. <sighs> Um, you know, they they and when and when people die, they pull out these people's like everything they've ever done in their life and throw it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. He had like I I know I believe he had like thirty seven tickets or thirty seven drivers or something like that. I should not know that information about this man. I should all I should know this man was a teacher. He was an educator to his community, and that's it. He his he. Which ended up a uh, traffic accident that ended up costing him his life. He had a license to conceal carry, and as a conceal carry person, what you have to do is you have, when approached by an officer, you have to immediately say, "I am a conceal carry." You have to let them know it is on me or it isn't. Right. Immediately in that time frame, because it's like a part of it, depending on like you have to let them know that. Mm-hmm. But like there, that that's a a huge possibility for. People in this world, like you, you don't see that. Like, I could drive home tonight and not make it because someone, oh, well, he got on a black hoodie and I thought I seen something. Mm -hmm. And like, what'll happen is, hey, um, well, he misjudged it and, um, yeah, he's, he's gonna be all right. And I'll, uh, like, wait, wait a minute, what? Yeah, he, he's just gonna give him administrative leave Mm -hmm. and then boom, he's back. Whenever he's with, back, he's they back don't face a, this. He's back. He's suspended with pay. Yeah, with like, pay. That, you're gonna go home. You're gonna. You're gonna have free. Vacation. You're gonna be dead. Gotham. You're gonna be dead. The officer who shot you is gonna go home. He's gonna he's fuck his wife. Him. He's going to eat him a good sandwich right after the fuck. With he's gonna cheese. go back. They eat cheese. Do the same damn thing, right? And then and, he's gonna turn around, wake up, mm-hmm. and then put on the best Oscar award. Uh, interview with with television and, and camera crews and don't, and and don't forget news. if they go to his house they're going to pay to remove him from his house and his family for a nice vacation yeah. or non-disclosed where they won't oh, be Oh no no but I got you better than that somebody in the neighborhood is going to going to make a GoFundMe account and we yeah. are going to make sure you become a millionaire when this happens yeah. that, but what happens wild, to though. his family the person that you know they get shot. It's 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 so crazy in this country. I mean, it's, I live. I'm gonna tell the, you what, I, and, and I'm not trying to knock you, Curtis. Shout out to everybody who's a representative or it's, affiliated it's or inside the military. That's that's the craziest to me. If you look at it like this, like so, you understand. Uh, I believe it was in Georgia. Um, the the Asian shooting, right? Like they they put up this stop Asian hate. Everybody's sharing. Everybody's talking about it. You know, like I I spent two years in Japan. I love Japan. I love Asia. I've been yeah, in Hong Kong. I've been in Thumbnail. Thailand. Uh, Laos. Um, actually, no, that's actually racist. Else. What I just did. I'm not racist. I can't remember. But <laughs> like I've been there. Hong Kong, China. 
I, I enjoyed it. But like, they didn't go, but wait a minute. Stop all hate. Mm. Stop mm. blue hate. Hey, Black Lives Matter. Well, all lives matter. Blue lives matter. And all this slogan and all this stuff come out. And I'm like, so every time we do something, it's like that's, that's overshadowed. Always. But that, that's by that's always else. that's always the case with human human, I, I, human nature. I, I, Think I about Black you, Panthers. Think yeah. about what derived from Black Panthers. I tell you this, uh, what is it called? Um the young man who lost his life, the man's name was Daniel Shaver. Daniel he Shaver, was okay. shot in a ho- uh, a hotel because it, there was a report that he had a weapon in a hotel room, him and a young lady. The police swarmed it. And mm-hmm. like he, they like, they smoked him in that he hallway. Was screaming for his life. Yes. Man. He was crying and he was like, he didn't know. Like mm-hmm. they were like, hey, look, walk to me. So like they let her crawl to him. And then like he was just in like some ball outs in a shirt. But they, I don't know what the, I don't know the dispatch, what they called over and said, what kind of weapon it was, whatever. But they ended up finding like a, a, a pellet gun that he shoots like gerbils or something with or rats with when he does his work. Because that's what he does. He was exterminated. And, and Oh, yeah, room, you got some big ass gerbils. And you got to shoot the one. Like literally, he's like, they're like, hey, crawl to me. And they're like. He's crying, like crying. When I'm talking about crying, like you just got your ass whooped, snot sad. running down your face, and they smoked him, and nobody said anything. It was it was a Caucasian dude. Doesn't matter. But my thing is like, everybody was outraged about that. There's a lot of Black Lives Matter. Like, hey, look, y'all saying all lives matter. No one said anything about this. This guy just lost his life. Like, I mean, like when I say lost his life, like mm. it was like, I think it was like six or seven bullets. Of like a rifle. It wasn't like, you know, like he they shot the pistol at him a couple of times. It was like nah. six or seven bullets of a rifle hit. So him. that means they they aiming for they kill shots. Yes. Yeah, they better take a Like and like I, he crawled to the he, he was like, they were like, um, I forgot what the last command was. They told him they were like, crawl to me. And he like, they were like, if you put your hands behind your back or something like that, or if you and he just he was afraid. For itself. And I mean, in that moment, I would have said, hey, look, man, just let me lay here and y'all cut me. There's no one else in the room. But I mean, they're they're trying to they're trying to over overthrow him with their voice. And and he he didn't say that. But I mean, he was afraid, you know, right. like and, and that's crazy to me as a, a trained officer. You can be you can be afraid for your life and act on it. But as that civilian, they you can. know, like if you sneeze, mm. you might be gone. He sneezed they- and I thought he reached for something. So that's all, officer. I gotta say. My next question, Chief, is how can we implement training to, to the to those who is a representative of the judicial system, as far as police go? How do you? Because there's so many ways. Like marching, I'm, and I'm not disrespecting anybody who I marched before. All right, I was at Black Lives Black Lives Matters marches, and I'm not disrespecting nobody, but marching. As you know, it's not going to solve any of the problems. So what's the next situation that we need to do as people, as as not just black people, just as a human race in America? What the fuck do we need to do to actually stop this? Because it's, it's I, not even, I'm numb. Like, I'm not, like, I'm just, I'm numb to this I know shit. We're, I know we're tired of hearing this and talking about it, but, like, we still have to hold the people we elect accountable for this no matter how many times they fail us we still have to continue to try to hold them accountable okay but look I'm, I agree with you 25% mm. the 75% I'm talking about Damn. is how can we actually implement the training that's necessary now granted mm. I can't even say just training now because we just had an officer who pulled out they they gun instead of a taser and failed to do that after what 26, 25 yeah, 20, years. That's why. But my thing is, is training helping now? Ways. But my thing, like we need. I need. Yeah. I need somebody to come up with some type of statistics. But my thing is, if we had that answer, it already been done. You're asking a, a question that I don't think could be answered. That's gonna ever be answered. Like this is gonna go on until the end of time. Like there's never gonna be an answer for this. I would hope not. It, it is. It's never gonna be an answer for this. Because he he is he is right though at this current juncture because like so yes there are African Americans who are outraged but if you look at the numbers there are more Caucasians killed by police but, but the argument will than, be this I mean to Jack I have to say Jack then the argument will be this though but there's more Caucasian than that and I, I was getting at that what uh, I think the ratio is nine to one if I'm not mistaken 
So I mean, like, it's only I can't say only because it's still a life loss. Um, the last time I looked at the stats, I can't remember, remember the year, but it was like four hundred and like fourteen Caucasians to like three hundred and like fifteen African Americans killed. Where's and that like, source from? Hmm? Where's that source? I from? cannot remember the stat right now or the year, but I, I was I was reading it because we, me as law enforcement, we had this debate. Me and my coworkers, we talk about it a lot. Right, we do because we we'll, we'll talk and we'll we'll keep it real. We won't we'll like kind of like sugarcoat stuff and we'll kind of walk around stuff. We walk straight through the bush with each other talking about the conversation. Right, and like, but when they look at it, said, but look, it's more, and I'm like. But if you do that, like, if you scale that out by, like, the amount of people that there are African-Americans compared, like, it's, those numbers are, that's a terrible ratio. Like, <laughs> there's literally only a hundred more, but there's nine times, there's eight times more people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but I think the the systems are wrong. Like, there are several systems wrong, like the, the prison system. Prison system is a um, slavery system. The, 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 the prison system, the... Especially, especially if it's a for-profit. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it's a for-profit prison. The prison system, um, what do you call Depending it? Depending on what state that you're in. Honestly, I think a lot of the court systems are wrong, too, because depending on their, like, the mandatory... I, I don't agree with that. Mandatory time sentences, I, I do not, like... No. If you because do this each, crime, each you get a minimum is... of 10 years just off back. Depending on what state you are, when you get a minimum of 10 years, I want to say you have to do like eight years before you can even turn in your probation. And each situation or is different. Like minimum, right. like that's, it's a great sadness. Um, yeah. It, it really is. Um, like, I don't, I don't agree with the prison system either because like there are, I don't know, countless Thousands of people in, who are in, innocent, in, innocent as well. Who are innocent? But I was gonna go and say this: who are in jail for drugs? There are at least fifteen businesses making billions of dollars a year over weed and all this stuff right now. I feel like the moment, the moment they legalized it, one state. If you are in this state for this, or you are in prison in this state for this, you're set free. There's no way California. You can do anything in California. They have safe zones. You can go in California with any drug, take it to a safe zone. They will give you clean utensils to use it. Mm, clean utensils. They well, say, you know what? We'd rather it, it, you, you just taught me something. I, I am going to say yeah. this, though. Um, when it comes to people using needles and shit like that, I might be a benefit. You know, there's a lot of drugs out there. Hepatitis. You know what I mean? But, and, HIV. And that's, what it, that, so that's what it was, it was about as well, that's though. That's what's up. Colorado has made so much money. I think they were one of the first states to legalize weed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they made profit. So they've made so much money, and their numbers of other drug use and all that stuff has gone down. Mm -hmm. Like, their their violent crime numbers have went down, and no one's talking about it at all. Nobody. And it's... I just... I, I hate that we live in a... I just... We're supposed to be America. This is supposed to be, and I'm not knocking you. You part of the military. You work for America. I ain't trying to knock you. Shout out to everybody who's in the military system who's actually doing what the fuck they're supposed to do. I'm talking about we in America, and I don't feel like I don't feel like we patriotic than some of my other counterparts and colleagues in other countries. Do you agree with me on that? You've, do you so, think we as? Do you so think we are patriotic? You, you I don't feel like that. we are as patriotic than some of the other people in other countries. Especially civilians. Maybe not. We're more uh, weird. Do you agree on that one, though? So, like, think about that. So Do you think we as patriotic? They, they had this discussion, because uh, I watch a lot of sports talk. And, um, like, a lot of people will, like, say, claim they live and die by the flag, but they don't. Because, like, so, like, honestly, and then everybody who, like, waves around the rebel flag, they tried to overthrow the flag of this country. They tried to overthrow this country. So you are literally waving around a loser's flag, someone who tried it. So, like, we aren't because it's, like, in Nazi or Nazi, in Germany, it's, like, 100% illegal to have... If you have a swastika. Like, period. Like, Let me be specific. No questions. No questions at all. If you have Hitler's swastika, I'm, I'm so mad that Hitler copied... It's Japan. It's uh, the sign of peace. Yeah, it's a sign of peace. Yes, it's a sign of peace. But in Japan, though, they 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 follow suit. They Germany just said that. Japan said none of it. None of it. None of it. 
I mean, so, when you look at the but, old the old Mesopotamia and and, and Egypt, it it's a very strong symbol for yeah. them to just ruin it. But it's if you turn much. around and you look, America hasn't done that for any. If you had like a sign, a, a gang sign or whatever, it, it isn't. And that's any gang. I'm I'm talking about any gang is not like if you have a symbol from any gang, and I mean that's just I'm using gangs as an example. The but, argument would be if you can't let me express myself, you end approaching on my first yeah, amendment. Yeah, your first amendment rights. But like you are literally like waving the flag of someone who tried to throw the country that you claim to be so proud of. So like this also, right? Let me ask you a question. A lot a lot of veterans or people in the military you feel like get get how do they feel? How do your your colleagues feel about the rebel flag? What so I think? have I have some who like they like they have it, some who don't have it. I mean, it's, we haven't had that open discussion about it yet because it wasn't that big of a thing. And then like I believe I was in Japan when all that was happening, and they were snatching out statues, etc. But I mean, like a lot of history is like just written to look like, hey, someone want to read this, right? So that's a different discussion, but like. That's how they were raised. Just like it like can't I be helped when like, it's raised. Yeah, like I, I love, nurturing so like, versus I said it earlier. Nature versus nurturing. So like I love honey buns, right? If somebody told me that honey buns cause cancer, wow! I I'm believe gonna, I'm gonna have to sit down and make a life decision, and I'm gonna <clears> say, <throat> "Give me that cancer." But you know, like it, that's <laughs> oh, you know, but, like, la- oh, but no. I, I'm just using that compare it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've 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 ate honey buns all my life. Bro, the last time he was here, he told me go, I, I was going to the store. He said, "Give oh, me honey yeah, bro. You didn't even get that jump, bro. Like, We're not even gonna talk about that. But I did like, get honey. No, no, you didn't. I got you. I give you. I did get the honey bun. You didn't get a honey bun. You got the drink. I must have oh, ate it on my way. I must have ate it on my way here. No. I'm evil. Nah. <laughs> but like, literally though, you know, so you got to think about stuff like that. Like, it's literally, so a lot of people fall in love with like, oh, I'm 100% patriot. I'm 100% patriot. Mm. But you're not because like, it says, um, I don't know the USC off the top of my head. But if you read and you go over things about the flag, it's an article in there that goes over. You will not do this, 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 and this with the flag. One of them is wear the flag. Mm-hmm. I'm guilty of this. I have a shirt that has the flag on it. Um, uh, one, you will not alter the flag. You know, everybody put a blue line or a green line or red or yellow, or upside whatever. down, upside like all stuff like that. That you're not supposed to do that. You won't use it for advertisement, Budweiser bikinis. You won't wear it as clothes. Oh shit! Like I, all I of some, that. I bought a Budweiser beer with the flag on it. That's what I'm saying. But no one, no one cares about it. No one says anything about that. They just say, "I love my flag." Mm-hmm. You know, and it's things like that because they say, like, when what's the name Neil? They like you're disrespecting the flag, and it's like, but you got this Budweiser can right here that you're not supposed to actually have, and they're like, "Well, that's y'all not mad." True. And hold I on, showed hold on, it to one of my supervisors, and he. It was like, let's change the conversation. Yes, because I just proved you wrong and you don't like right. it. Right. They mad at at the whole situation of kneeling at the flag, but they're not mad at random cops pepper spraying That's what got a me. person but in the he, military. He claimed to be a veteran too. I, like, I don't know if like... So I Is he really a veteran? Yeah, we gotta, got, we gotta dig in more know? information about that. I haven't fact checked that yet. But I mean, he seemed like one because when he did the special scorpion thing, I was like, yeah, people do be covering they Like the way the dude had on the uh, seatbelt... Like usually lower enlisted cover up their their rank like that. So, but I do know like well I will I will, I will drive with my whole way up. I'm I'm E five baby. You know I'm a sergeant. Like, no, <laughs> I'm hey, sorry, don't try yeah. to come for me, but uh, you know like uh, give me my respect. So it's a lot of people who you know like they claim oh well I'm all about this I'm all about that, but they really aren't. They just sad. They're, they're they're sheep. They're, they're lamb. That's and sad. a lot of people are sadly one of those because like, perfect example. Um, well, hold on. Before before you say that perfect example, ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. We're getting limited time. I just want to make sure before you say your example, if anybody else have anything else to say. Uh, no, I've I just been sitting here listening. Um, like I told you uh, before we even started this podcast, probably won't have much to say because the subject we're talking about, it makes you so numb to yeah. where you don't have nothing to say. It's a hard say. subject. You just I'm sit t- and I don't even want to everything. I had to talk about it because I feel like I'm just tired. Like, yeah. And what makes it so bad and golf, I, I hope it doesn't happen. But what's going to happen towards the end of this year? By the time, how many other black people or, yeah. or, 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 or minorities or anybody got to 
wrongfully be uh, killed in a by the justice executed. system. Executed. Or executed. Yeah. Right. It's not even I mean, uh, think executed. about it. That's a lot. Think about how many people who are innocent, who are facing life term uh, charges in in prison right now. Yeah. They cut from their fam- family. You know, it's their auntie, their cousin, their sister, brother, mother, lover, etc. You know what I mean? It's and, like... Like, I haven't fact-checked it yet, but this happened in Minneapolis. And they said, like, uh, George Floyd's girlfriend is that boy, that young man's, Dante Wright, God rest both of their souls, was his teacher. Mm. I mean, it's a small wow. town, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know... Say that one more time. I'm, George I'm, Floyd... Mm-hmm. Who they're having a trial right now? Yes, they having a trial. Like that whole trial, that whole trial lasted as long as wild off. and crazy. I had to cut it off. I, I've like, been hearing it on I, on um. It be on YouTube live yeah. every, every day. I had to cut it yeah, off. I, I was I, hearing it while driving at eighteen rolling. I'm like the Breakfast Club in the morning. They talk about it, but like it, it's wild. Like because, but like oh, I don't mean to cut you off because I cut it on like like you said earlier. Like why do I need to know this man's arrest record? I don't care. Yeah, he's just a a man who got killed for no reason. I don't want to get. Let me ask you this question it. before before you get back to Curtis. It, please stop for it. Stop it. Stop for it. No, you that shit long. is in the camera. <laughs> Damn, oh, for it again. It threw up the show. How many? I done. I done, I done lost my whole. <laughs> you farting that shit. How many what? No, my question was when it comes to basically, um, if if the roles were were, were basically reversed, and and if if, if if George Floyd was was actually on a cop's neck and he no, was a he, cop, he he he, you know, if the it. role was reversed, yeah, you know what I mean, he wouldn't have made it. Club hanger. He would not have made it. Like I like honestly, it's a great sadness. Once that's the you, country we live in. I don't want to say it, but like when someone becomes a cop killer, mm-hmm. like they come for your neck. Like they they. I'm tell, just saying. Not, suppose not, George Floyd was a cop yeah. and he was just a a, a, a you know. Yeah, if the you, roles were reversed, oh, he's a cop. Yeah, if the whole yeah. situation was reversed, oh, if the whole situation would, would, would have been I mean, the trial. Regardless, regardless I, I don't think none of this should take that long. If it was a, if it's it a black man doing to a white man, if it's a white man doing to a black man, if it's any race doing to any, race, I don't think there should be. And a then trial the defense this long sucked. About it. The man said, "I mean, basically, the statements that was by the defense." Um, and I'm sorry we switched to flip flopping subjects. Please forgive me, but he was on his neck for fucking almost nine minutes. Yeah. But I, I think I also feel like the police that were there with him also should be or was not minutes ac- accountable because yeah. when you take that oath, I, yeah. I never I'm not a cop, so I don't know the oath you take. But I'm pretty sure you're your brother's keeper. Yeah. So if you see your brother doing wrong, like yeah. you need to be like, hey, like, hey, yeah, this this I, is not it. Absolutely. So, so I feel like you know what I'm saying you sitting there, you need to be held accountable for something. I'm too. I'm actually blaming. I, I always at the end of at the end of the day, y'all. I, I always blame the government because I feel like the the military industrial complex. Hold on, don't blame Biden. He done gave me fourteen hundred dollars. The prison industrial <laughs> complex. It's hey, all about like, all, kind of, <laughs> all these complexes, all these systems and niches. When it come down to it, it's about that money, of course. And that's really what it come down to. Police feel like some office officers feel like you know they Superman. Maybe they got bullied in school. You know, I hope. I hope. What's your boy who's the sheriff now that's, or that's sheriff a deputy? Willie. Willie. Uh, Willie? A, I remember a, Willie being that, bullied in high that, school. Now, <laughs> chill out, man. Willie, you gotta hit me up. On, you gotta hit me up on Great Age Cafe, Chief. Willie, you gotta hit me chill up. out, man. But <laughs> like, <laughs> huh? Oh. But um, yeah. Uh, no, but I don't want to end the episode w- without saying um, good job to the cops out there that Who actually are do their job. Doing their fucking job. Because Thank every you. cop is not bad. Thank you. So <laughs> it, it sucks because the saying is the saying is so true, like one spoiled apple can yeah. fuck up the rest of them. So it's just, you know, I just want to, you know, thank the good officer out there because there are good officers out there. Not my uh, resource officer. See, I can't be school. officer, man. I just uh, some officers don't dick. need to be officer, man. <laughs> just, if I was an officer, I'd be on my training day, low key. I'm, I'm, it just has to be like levels of escalations. Like yeah. if, a lot of people need to understand, like you can de-escalate things, and like a lot of people come with that negative energy or trying to startle stuff. Because you, I know right now, like you know right now, if I go outside, see some people like you know doing this, I know how to escalate it. Mm-hmm. Like 
if I just like, hey, your mama a bitch. Hey, who said, you know what I'm saying? The, the right person, but like, oh, look, what's up then? You know what I'm saying? And like, oh, saying I didn't say he years. said that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they start going at it, and I just keep hyping it up. You ain't going to hit them, though. But then in that same way, I'm surprised you can I go come lie. up I'm, to the I'm, situation I'm proud of you, Chief. and be like, yo, like, hey, hey man, like, like y'all chill out. Like, uh, it's the video of the dude. It's like, it's like two kids about to fight. And all his friends oh, is like recording. Right and he's he like, hey, talk, man, yeah. like, did you say to your homies? Like, yeah, they they're, they're laughing. Yeah. They're, they're clowning laughing you right now. Yeah. They're recording. They're not even, they're clowning you. Like, and he's like, yo, shake your hands and walk away, man. Like, this is not it. You know, like that, not necessarily do that specifically every time, but you can de escalate things a lot more than some people try to. Some people try to amp it up to say, like, well, I got to the scene and he slipped and fell and now he's busted up, but I got him here. You mm. know, like, yeah, sure, he slipped and now, you know, mm, you got right, him. Right, right. But, it's just things like that that should be done more often. De-escalation should be done more often, especially once you put you the gotta, cuffs on them. You gotta, once you put the cuffs on somebody, which the cuffs was on him, uh, uh, I want to say like maybe like 15 seconds after all four of them were on top of him. Mm -hmm. So once the cuffs are on him, there's no reason at that moment to leave that man down Unless there like he's good at kickboxing. Regardless, you can go put <laughs> him in the car, that, though. You're right, you're right. You'll put him in the car and, like, dead it. Like, right, all right, let me right. put him in the car so, you know, nothing else, you know, happens. Right. And then because but to as be an officer, somebody next. you're in charge of uh, you're in charge of the safety of that person. Right. That person fall and hit their head, that's on you. Mm -hmm. You know, that person fall and, you know, break their leg, et cetera, that is on you because right. you have positive control of this person. Are you you have, have detained this person. And... Are y'all trained to do like CPR after yes, I shoot absolutely. somebody? So I, I wonder why they just changed it, didn't they? They just changed yeah, it, didn't like they? You, it seemed like you wanted, like once you shoot them, like you looking for them to die. But y'all are trained to. Yeah. So you know? uh, let me ask you a question Hold, before you answer. I got into Jack. They, you know, just how many, how many, uh, how many compressions they changed that? Oh, didn't they did just change it. Um, I don't know. Ooh. Just making sure. Ooh. They did just change it. You're making right. Making sure. <laughs> but anyway, right. anyway. Um, <laughs> they did just change it. It's 30 compressions. And no, you don't have to do no mouth to mouth. And you don't have to do mouth to mouth. That's yeah. exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Let's yeah. make sure you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he, he, oh, up I got my guard. I got my guard. Hey. Hey. And I'm, I ain't even in the game no more. Chief. But I mean, but regardless though, so like, back to your question. Yes, they are trained. Why they don't, I don't know. Because I've seen some, we've had, I've seen cases where like, Something has happened and they immediately start. Mm -hmm. It ain't no like, you know, they put cuffs on them or whatever. But once they're like, hey, we're going to lose this guy, they immediately start. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, I guess, I'm going to say they're rusty on their CPR or life saving measures. And, you know, they're like, oh man, I'm just waiting on paramedics. Paramedics are two seconds away, et cetera. But regardless, you can start right then and there. Right. If you believe, if I'm in a situation with somebody and I believe, hey, look, I'm losing this person. I'm going to start because I'm responsible for this person's health at this time. Right. Well, I wish all officers thought that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. I'm going to start wrapping this up immediately because one of my colleagues is going to be late for work. And I'll be damned if I'm going to pay him any money because he's missing work. kick your ass. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> anybody got anything else, left, left, anything else left to say? Damn, uh, I can't speak. God bless the dead. God bless DMX. God bless all the people that lost their lives to senseless violence. Uh, right. God bless all y'all that's listening. God bless y'all. God bless everybody. And good night. God bless. Deuces, <laughs> peace, love, respect. Wow. I was doing too much the whole watch. Why did I have to kiss the camera? Yeah, make sure you edit this part out. This is unacceptable behavior. This is Good Apes Cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah, edit this part out. Yeah. Nigga, what? Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>